Hello, I'm Travis Cook. I'm Jared Hatfield, and this is Tablet Tips. Today we're going to be discussing note-taking tips, but not your regular engineering note-taking tips. We're going to talk a little bit about how we take our notes. Outside of engineering. Now, if you're in calculus and they're using other three tablets, you feel like you almost have, have to, take. to take notes. Like and we do, and Dino's great and all. But you're going to be in those engineering classes where the teacher's just writing on the whiteboard or the chalkboard. Or they might even have a tablet, but they're not doing it really Dino-optimized like or calculus is. They're just using showing you PowerPoint slides. Best case scenario, they post those slides already. Mm -hmm. You can simply print to OneNote. By the way, OneNote is our very high... Very highly suggested note-taking choice. And you can ink on those PowerPoint slides. Now, it's not as good as Dino, but it's still a good option. It works. It works. It allows you to do, much like Dino, annotate on top of what the teacher's telling you. Highlight and even screen capture the important stuff out of those into a study file. That's what I did in some of my classes. The big thing to note here is that every professor is different. Yeah. You are basically not going to have the same note take experience from one class to the other yeah, outside of calculus. Every, time, yeah. every class is different. For a history test, for example, history class, for example, where your teacher is just going on and on and on. Definition, definition, name, place, definition. You don't always have to write this stuff. Remember, Flip. you have a tablet, but it's still a computer. Everybody sitting around you is going to be frantically scribbling down those definitions with pencil and paper. Jared and I are leaning back in our chair, typing away at our extremely high typing speed. We're done. And, and then, the te then the people with the laptops, the teacher draws a picture. People with the laptops, they're out of luck. Us? Flip it around. Da, 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 da. Or just or record with your arms. Yeah, like you can do either. Strong. And draw the picture. So it gives you the best of both worlds. Having a laptop so you can type fast when you need to, but then you can get the really obscure shapes and drawings and pictures at some Chemistry is wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> You're not going to be typing that much in chemistry. Okay. Yeah, I didn't very much. Anyway, one thing I do want to touch on, though, is sometimes it'll say in the syllabus for any class, no laptops allowed. None. Ask no the way. teacher. Always. Bring your tablet. A lot of teachers, especially in arts and sciences, don't know what a tablet is. Take your tablet yeah. to them, put it in tablet mode, and show them what you can do with it. Explain to them this will increase your learning productivity and probably your grade in class. Now, if you're just bringing your tablet to play WoW in the back of the class, they still might say no. But if you're actually sitting there taking notes, you should have a pretty good argument. If you have trouble, talk to us, maybe. Yeah, yeah. We, can always, yeah. we can always talk to your teachers for you if it becomes a problem. Now, besides the classes, you can the homework is the other big thing we both do. In fact, we now have it so you can do your homework in almost any class with a tablet through working with the administration of speed school. Now, arts and sciences are still a few classes you might not be able to, but... Ask the teacher in the first day if you have doubt, but I submit all my homework in a printed out form. Now, wait a minute. We just suggested OneNote. What are we suggesting for homework? Journal. Seems a little strange, but they each have their benefits for doing it that way. Journal is great because it's the page format. Mm -hmm. It, you it can prints really nicely. One note, you try to print something, not so nicely. One note, you're taking your notes and it's one big long page. Journal, you're going to have to print it out. You can ask your teacher if you can email it, but you're going to print it out. But in summary, we have just using your tablet everywhere. Don't just use it in calculus. You're really cheapening yourself and wasting the money you spend on your tablet. The other thing you might want to recognize is my first semester when I came here, it was hard. Oh, yeah. It was hard. You really have to basically commit. I'm using my tablet for everything. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be hard, but... It, it's a learning curve, a slot learning curve. After, Going from paper and pencil to paper you can do things with. It takes a little work, but it's worth it in the end. Um, thanks for watching Tablet Tips. As always, check out our website for additional information. We'll see you next time. Bye.